Broken Fates, Part 2. Honey, did something happen? Like what? Did something happen? You know, Roman came to me today. What did Roman want? He remembered that he had a family. He wants it back. Okay, but didn't he know that you were married? <sighs> Perhaps he did, or didn't, but I told him. He really wants to see his son. And he should, too. I see that. Are you sure that you won't regret it? Dimitri, don't forget that he's Kolya's father. It's still an open question whether it's better to see his son or not. Come on, hit the gas! Hey there. You feeling better? All right then. How's Andre? He's still the same. <sighs> Listen now, Ksenia. Mm -hmm. Please, don't fall into despair. You must be strong. You know you're the only support for your son. What are you talking about? Where would I get the strength? <sighs> we can't afford the treatment. <sighs> My husband left us when he learned about Andre's illness. <sighs> I'm buried in debt. On top of it, I had to leave my job because I couldn't leave Andre. Well, <sighs> there's always a way out. And I'm gonna try to help you. Oh, please, if there is at least some chance, I beg you not to leave us. Save my boy, because he's the only thing that I have. I already promised you. I'll go home in the evening, look at the materials on some charity funds, and bring you the contacts tomorrow. Thank you, Vera Adrivna. Oh, thank you. Hello, Vera. What are you doing here? You look really good. And these are for you. Thanks, but there's no need. Vera, but why act like this? We are not strangers. Let's take a walk and talk about our son, please. Roman, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Why are you starting Vera, this? Vera! Honey, is everything all right? Uh, everything's fine. You should go now. So you just easily replaced me with him, huh? Well, why not? I mean, he's rich and has a house and a car. He took advantage of my being in prison and bought you, right? Don't you dare say that about my wife. Oh, about your wife? She used to be mine. Do you think being rich makes her yours? Roman, I wish you'd stop this. Money doesn't give you the right to think you're better than others. I'm not going to explain anything to you. If you ever want to see your son, then act normal. Otherwise, get Let's lost. Don't tell it. me what to do, smart ass. Dimitri. <laughs> Roman! He is my son, and that will never change. Hold on. <laughs> you better stay away from my house and my family. Just get out of here. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my boss. Let her decide. Roman, would you get out of here? So you're dancing to his tune now. Stop Remember it. Remember that. I warned you. Roman, you must leave now. You need to leave now. I beg you. Oh, I'll be seeing you. Let's go. Let's go. Does it hurt? I'm all right. If I see him here again, he will regret the day he was born. Dimitri, calm down, please. I'll tell Roman not to come here again. 
So you're still insisting you're gonna keep company with him? Roman is Kolya's dad, and he just came to talk about his son. We had a wonderful talk. Oh, what an amazing Stop one. Stop making things worse. I just don't understand why you keep defending him. I'm not defending him. Oh, yeah, okay. He'll regret this. Never mind, then. Forget about it. You need to move forward. You're jammed now. You'll find another woman. She's not the center of the world. <sighs> yeah, still. I was deprived of my parental rights to my son because I was in prison. They said that I didn't even pay the obligatory alimony. Oh, and that I love to drink. Well, what do you want? What did you expect? Honor and respect? No, my brother. When you're out of prison, you start from scratch. From scratch? So you're suggesting that my son should call some idiot man his father, and I have to stay away and be a stranger? I can't imagine what they told him about me. I'm sure of it, but just listen, okay? I want to get my son back. I'll sue them if I have to. <laughs> Come on, you're gonna sue them? Remember, the law is no friend for people like us. You want him? Try again to make a deal with your ex. That would be more reliable. Yeah, so that was my patient. Well, yeah, yeah, I was no. just going to say that. Yeah, okay, real messed up. Yeah. I appreciate That's good. it. Vera, hello. Look, I want to apologize. I'm sorry. What else? Wasn't yesterday's scandal enough? I know it was, and I'm sorry, too. Uh, your husband just made me lose it, and I hey, can't... Hey, let's not talk about my husband. You're here because of him? No, not because of him. I just want to explain that my nerves are very weak because of my time in prison. So you assault people and work out your frustration? And you're going to keep claiming that we're dear to Listen, you? Listen, my dear. What? Look, I won't make excuses. I just want to tell you that you're truly dear to me in my life, and I don't have anyone except you. Well, all right. Let's pretend that nothing happened. Of course you can see Kolya as we agreed upon. Just please, don't make any more hectic scenes. I promise I won't. Hey, what happened? And why are you standing there like that? Dad? It looks like my dad's back. I think that's awesome. I wish my mom were able to come back. Hello there, son. Hey there, Dad. Mom said I could pick you up from school. Let's take a walk, and you'll see how I live. Want to go? Vera, are you here or somewhere up in the clouds? Are you all right? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I'm so sorry. I can't stop thinking about one patient. A poor 13-year-old boy. What's wrong with him? He needs an urgent operation. He's now in line, but it's still all moving very slowly. We can't speed up the process. Well, okay, but aren't there any other ways? I hope to find one. The operation is very difficult. And also his mother doesn't have any money. We have contacted charity funds, but there are more people in need than there is money. Anyway, we can't wait. I have no idea what to do at all. You know what? Just send all his bills to me. I'll see what can be done for him. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. We would be so grateful. Why not? My company's business is going well, and... Perhaps I'll be able to help. <laughs> You're the best ever. Do you know how important this is? I wouldn't overpraise me, my dear, <laughs> or I'll get spoiled. All right, I'll stop. Okay, I'll send you all the necessary papers tomorrow. I'll go get Kolya now. Wait, hold on there. Wait a sec. Is Kolya with Roman? Well, yeah, he's been picking him up from school. Mm. I see, so that means you allowed them to communicate. Dimitri, it's the right thing to do. I'll come with you to pick him up, then. No, dear, there's no need. I don't want you to get into another fight, is all. Well, if you insist. Although I think you're making a mistake. Call me if you need me. Don't worry, I'll be right back.
Mm. You want to join us? No. That's a shame. Mm -hmm. I said I was going to see my son today, so why are you here? We need to talk. Because we are about to have a worthwhile job. Can we talk later? Can't you see I'm busy? Mm. Don't fuss around and calm down. We're just playing cards, not bothering anyone. We can wait. The kid's only here for a while. Here, Cole, yeah, it's for you. Well, thank you. Listen, Father. Can you tell me about the prison? You spent three years there. Is it true? Yes, three years. Mm. Why did they send you to prison? It's hard to explain. It was an accident, and I wasn't lucky. Mm. They send you away for accidents? Well, uh, apparently things like that can happen. Mm. How is it there? Bad. It's bad, son. It's so bad. I don't recommend it, and I don't want to talk about it. Tell me about you. Uh, uh... Oh, it must be Mom. She's here to pick me up. Yeah. Let's talk another time. Kolya! Kolya, dear. Oh, hello there. Hello to you. I'm here, son. Hello, Mom. How are you doing? Great. I'm fine, Mom. It's time to go. Come on, let's go. I'll walk you down. Thanks. Come on, come on. Time to go. Who are those men? They are just my friends. Uh, and uh, what are they doing with Kolya? I don't think our son needs that kind of company. They're just misunderstood. Sorry, but I'm not going to discuss my friends with you. I, for example, don't like your husband. Go and wait for me on the stairs. All right, Mom. See you, Dad. Go on now. Bye, son. Roman. I don't want my son to see your so-called friends. I'm sure they're criminals. Are you going to tell me how to raise my son? Yes, I am. You have plenty of time to see your friends. And now, you're only going to see him in my presence. And what makes you so sure? I don't want my son to follow in your footsteps. Ah, thanks for reminding me. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's my son too. Well, in case you forgot, not legally anymore. All the best. Bye now, Kolya. She's preaching to me again. Back to her old ways. What a bitch she is. She forbade me to bring Kolya here. Is she for real? No, she's not taking my son away. Listen, I don't understand what works you up so much. It's not worth it. She's not that great. She wears expensive clothes and she thinks she's a princess. It's not true. Don't worry, man. You'll think of something. It just makes me mad. Now let's get to work, okay? <sighs> All right, listen. There's a mansion I'm gonna show. The owners happen to be very rich. We're gonna hit the jackpot. You set up mansion? Isn't that dangerous? That means it's guarded. Hold on, I don't get it. You're scared of that? Listen, don't try to bluff me. Shops or some minor points are one thing, uh, but a mansion? <laughs> are you serious? You're really scared of this? You know what? The safest thing is to sit at home and fuss over your ex. Hush! Am I refusing you? Tell me what's up and I'm in. All right. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> Check it. So here's the mansion. And here's the road. Take this to Viktor Ivanovich, please. Mm -hmm. He's in the staff room? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Vera Drivna. Yes. We're getting transferred to the surgery unit tomorrow. I'm really so grateful to you. If the operation turns out to go well... The operation will go well. It can't be otherwise. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. I just hope Andre gets better. Mm-hmm. And you shouldn't worry either. Mm. 
believe everything will be good. Oh, and come to visit me after the operation to let me know. Yes, of course I will, and thank you. Excuse See me. See you later. Vera, it was so good of you to help them. Anyone would have done that in my place. You know, it makes me think of how many ill children need the same help. Many of them, and I always feel bad. But you can't help everyone. No, I can't help everyone. But something has to be done. And I will think of something. It's clear. Come on. This is a setup. It's time to go. But, but, Marvel. I'm not going to prison now. Let's get out of here. Get out. Stand back. Stop or I'll shoot. You said you didn't drink. We shouldn't have left him. We abandoned Pavel. He would have done the same to us. We had no choice. You want us all to get caught? I knew deep down we shouldn't have gone there. Too late to fuss around. We need to leave the city. I can't leave the city. It's not in my plans, you get it? Well, hello there. Why did you scatter around like rats? I thought I could rely on you, but no. Calm down, Pasha. You know we had no choice. There's always a choice. You just got way too scared. We couldn't do anything. Tell us, how did you even get out? They let me go. <sighs> All right, guys. We're in real big trouble now. To make a long story short, they filmed us all. And now they want to give us to the police. I knew that friend of yours would rat us out someday. <sighs> yeah, it looks like he's in league with those guards. They've decided to cash in on us. So they want money? <sighs> of course they do. The only way out for us is to bail out. And the sooner we find the money, the better for us. Or we're all finished. No, not for me. That's not true. I was in the car, though. They got nothing on me. I don't understand. Aren't you your brother's stop, keeper? Stop, 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 boys. Calm <laughs> down. Enough talking. Just calm down. Now we're all... We're all in this together. Either we all swim out here, or we all drown together. You hear me? Now I want you to calmly get back to your senses. And let's decide where to take the money. We need to stick together on this. And the clock is ticking. Kolya, come here. I'm here to get you today. And does mom know that? Of course your mother knows that. Listen, even if mom doesn't know, can't you make a single step without her? You're grown up now, Kolya. Mm, no, but it's just that, why are you so early? We have another class. Yeah, that's not a problem. Skip it, I dare you. Uh, all right, I'll just tell Katya that I'm going with you. No need to tell anyone. Why are you such a goody-goody? Tell this one, tell that one. I thought you were a grown man, but you are- No, that's not true. You take that back, because I decide for myself. That's great. Then let's go. Give me let's the bag. Go. All right, take it. Hold on. Put her there. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Just like that. <sighs> let's go. Katya and I are good friends. I'm happy to have a friend who's like a sister. But she's not your sister. Mm. No. But she's daddy Dimitri's daughter. 
You call that dope daddy? He's not your dad. I'm your dad, Kolya. He is no one to you. But he's mother's husband. And he takes care of us. And he's nice, too. That jackass husband of your mother's was who sent me to prison. But, but why would he? You're saying it was Daddy Dimitri? Yeah. He's the reason I spent so long there. If it wasn't for him, I would have been with you. With you and with Mom. He's the one who separated us. But, well, no, I don't really know. It seems somehow, well, kind of strange. How's it strange? Don't you believe your father? I believe you, of course. But there I... are no buts about it, Kolya. You either believe me or you don't. Yes, I do. Come here, son. Come here and sit with your dad. <laughs> I've been thinking. Why don't we go on a trip? Just you and me. But... Do you think Mom will allow it? Cole, you're not that again. Are we going to ask Mom every time? But that is a serious thing. You're suggesting to leave on a trip. I'm not suggesting to leave. I'm suggesting we go on a trip. Do you understand? This is not for long. Kolya, we'll have such a good time. And Mom will give us her blessing. That I can assure you. Don't you believe me, son? Well... Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's go now. To the bus station and we'll decide where we're going. On our way there, hmm? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here they are, gathered as promised. Oh, thank you, Luda. Uh, but why do you need the list of these charity funds? Do you remember when I told you about guys like Andre? I do, and your point? Here it is. I've decided to launch my own fund. We'll be dealing with kids of this kind. Oh, wow, goodness. Vera, that's tremendous. That is such a great idea, but can you even imagine how many efforts you'll have to invest? Are you ready for that? Yes. Yes. I've worked through it all, and it'll work out. Luda. Uh, <clears throat> uh Vera. Uh, Luda, where are the, where are the release records? Why haven't you brought them yet to me? Why do I have to remind you all the time, Luda? Why? In a sec. In a sec. Make it right now. What's wrong with him? Well, it's been normal lately. <laughs> I've started dating intern Misha recently, so Olik has started picking on us for no reason. He's gone completely mad. Yeah, it's strange. And it's not like him at all. Mm-hmm. Luda! I'm coming! Go already. <clears throat> Hello, yes. What? How is he missing? What are you talking about? He disappeared out of nowhere? All right, yes, I'm on my way. Who is it? Open up, please. Where's Kolya? Where's my son? Kolya! Kolya, dear. I know that he must be with Roman. Kolya! Where is he? Tell me now! Uh, I really don't know where. Vera, wow, you're just so... You're really a lovely lady! Look at that beauty! Vera... You are cool. Yeah, I gotta head down Are you conning me? No. We have no money, so now we're... all screwed. I thought you and I were friends. We're in this together. Why are you running away alone? I suggest you do the same. Besides, nothing's holding you here. Don't you dare decide for me. You'd better get us some money. From where? From the underworld? There. Demand ransom for your son. 
Your ex will give anything for him. He is my son, remember? Yeah, and that's real good for us. And we'll ask him not to run away from us. Who knows who'd kidnap him? They wore masks, he saw no faces. No one will suffer, and no one will know. We'll get money and problems will be over. I'm not using my son, not ever. Goodbye. All right then, go on and save your ass. Are you all right? We're going now. Oh God, just pick up already. Well, so? He's not picking up. Where could he have gone? Perhaps you should call the parents of his classmates, Vera. No. I know that he's with Roman. Where did he take him? Well, I'm sure somebody knows. No, but nobody knows. Katya. Katya. You really don't know where Kolya is? Mm-mm. Well, you were together during recess, so you must have seen or heard something. Katya. Look at me when I'm talking. Stop what you're doing and come here. Do you know that Kolya might be in danger? If you know something, you must tell us at once. Well, Kolya wrote me a note before he left. Okay. And he said that he and his father were going to go on a new journey. But what kind of journey? What exactly did he write? I do know that they went by bus. Oh God, but what bus and where to? Kolya didn't write anything else. That's it, I'm calling the police. Yes. Listen, Dad. I don't think what we're doing is right. We need to call Mom at the very least. She'll be worried sick about me. You know what? Let's not call your mom right now. Why distract her from important things? We'll just tell her later. Let's think about what we are going to do for fun instead. Uh, for example, we could go on a hot air balloon ride. Or, I know, even better, swim in the open sea with that thing. What's it called that goes around you? The aqua lung? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, that sounds fun. I really thought it would. <laughs> yes, I'm listening. Wait, where are they? Okay, is he all right? All right, and I understand. Well, they found him? Well, it looks like they found out which bus Kolya and Roman took. I'll go and try to intercept them. If there's any news, I'll call, yeah, okay? Yes, okay. all right. Be safe. <sighs> Son, we'll get going soon. But why is the bus stopped? Kolya, let's go. No, stay here. Kolya, let's go now. Let's go, boy. What the hell? He's my uh, son. Sit down. You're going to answer for this trick. The police are waiting for you. Let's go, son.
Oh my god, honey. I was so worried. Don't worry, Mom. I promise I'm all right. Uh, thank God he's all right. Clay needs to get some rest because he's had a long day. Yes. Oh, you're right. Honey, you should go to bed. Will you come and sit with me? Of course I'll sit with you. Go on. <sighs> Very well. What about Roman? Let's let the police deal with him now. I filed a complaint against him for kidnapping. Even though it's his own son? Vera, he was deprived of parental rights. Legally, Coley is nobody to him. What about morally? Mom, are you coming? <sighs> Honey, I'm coming. Ah, oh, I'm glad you're here. Your ex came looking for you. I know. So did you really want to take your son away? I did, but I failed. <laughs> now I'll sit and wait for the trial. Is that so? Are you under investigation? Mm-hmm. They released me. I can't leave the city. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's all right. Every dog has its day. <sighs> Colia couldn't fall asleep. That's no surprise. He must have been scared. We had a talk and he is... Impressed by this adventure, of course. Roman did a number on him. Nearly promised to give him the moon. Roman is a scumbag. I hope they'll send him to prison again. Hun, I... I don't think he should be sent to prison. Meaning? You think he's innocent of kidnapping a child and he shouldn't go to prison? That's an interesting logic. It's difficult. He's Kolya's father. The thing is, he shouldn't have anything in common with such a father. And you shouldn't be defending I'm him. I'm not defending him, though. I'm really worried about my son. Please, understand it's not easy for Kolya either. His father coming back is confusing. Maybe we should... Try to just forget everything. Yeah, sure. Let's forget this trick and wait for the next one, huh? Tell me having that man in our lives is good for Kolya. I didn't say that. Listen, if Roman's behavior doesn't change, then I'll forbid him to see our son. Yeah, right. He won't make a step without your permission. Vera, let's face the truth here. You need to be tougher with criminals. Don't you think that you're being a bit too hard here? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Vera, wait. Vera, I... <clears throat> oh. How could you ever do that? I just wanted to be with my son. Oh, so that's what you call it. You took him without saying anything. Kolya doesn't need that drama. Just listen. How can I make it up? Let me beg you for some forgiveness. I really just want you to leave us alone. And I mean it this time. <sighs> Tell me, why would you bother with all this nonsense? You should let Vera deal with her ex on her own. Everything that concerns Vera and Kolya is my business now. We're one family. Oh, oh yes, I know. This is a <laughs> He's good right family. Here. Daddy, will you check our homework uh, for us? Sure, please? honey, but a little later, or just have your mom check in when she comes back. Can we go for a walk then? Yes, yeah, sure you can. <laughs> and Let's have fun. Going. But you both be careful. <laughs> hey, wait for me. I'm gonna <laughs> see you. Wait up. Kolya's like a son to me now. And I won't let anyone hurt him, or try to take him away from me.
Hello, hon. It's me. Listen, I'm going to be late coming home from work. Yes, but I really need to prepare the documents for the charity fund. And then to go to the lawyer for registration. All right, I will. Vera. Yes? I heard about your fund. That's really great. Yes. Andre's case really influenced me. If we manage to save someone else, I'll be happy. I have no doubt you will. You're doing a good thing. If there's something I can help you with, well then feel free to ask. Thank you so much, Oleg. Well, I'll get going soon. And I love you. I certainly don't want to run into Vera. I will always love you. Well, if it's all about Vera, you don't need to hurry. Seems she's going to stay late at work today. Yeah? What a hard-working wife. She's ready to live at her job. Vera is launching a new fundraiser now, and it takes up a lot of time. Well, sure, that's what she says. But who knows what she's really doing? What a lucky coincidence. You really think we can try? Taking the car. Just Not as right soon to you. You as her ex got released, she suddenly has so much to do. And she's using a fundraiser as her cover-up for them. Anna, listen what? to me. Absolutely Did I say something wrong? You have and please, do not walk me out. The same thing. However, it's never been true. Yes. What? They didn't let you get away, so you remembered your old friends? I didn't forget anyone, man. Sure, of course not. And you didn't want to abandon me, either. Just like when you left me alone to pay for what we were all involved in. I had my reasons, and you know that. But why bring that up? All right, forget it. Instead, let's think about where to get money. They're all pushing really hard now. The interest is growing. Yeah, and I'm not much of an earner now. Vera filed a claim against me. The cops made a case. They can lock me down any minute for kidnapping my own son. <laughs> I told you to forget it, but you had to get away with a boy. What are you suggesting now? I'm supposed to tow the line? He's my son and I should see him. I'll get them both back, both he and Vera. Hello there. Hello. How are you? <sighs> I am pretty tired. You're spreading yourself a little too thin. You need to get some more rest. <sighs> yeah. I think a lot of it has to do with my nerves. Actually, these events have made me so exhausted. I agree. Someone has messed with our nerves a lot. But he won't now. He's not going to anymore. <sighs> Babe. Can we withdraw our complaint? Roman's fate is already unlucky. Wait, are you calling Elena's murder having difficult fate? Or you mean Colia's kidnapping? Come on now, he apologized for it. You should have seen how depressed he was. Were you actually dealing with the funds business or seeing Roman today? Of course I was dealing with the funds. I only saw Roman for possibly five minutes. Oh, that is interesting. Listen, he didn't look like himself. Hon, I made him go away. But frankly speaking, I wanted to support him. Yes, I feel bad for him. Well, I don't feel sorry for him. Not even a bit. He's to blame for everything that he's I'm been through. I'm not saying that it's not his fault. But he has paid for it, Dimitri. Just listen. I'm only asking you about one thing. I think we should give him a chance. Why did you want to see me? I withdrew my complaint. That's unexpected, but thank you. I don't need your acknowledgement. I want you to leave once and forever and never again plague me or my family with your presence. Where would I go? This is for the road. 
If I ever see you with any of my relatives again, you'll be back behind bars. I hope that's clear. I'm so sick of those blackmailers. The interest keeps growing and growing and growing, and it won't stop. We need to shut it down. Hey. Hey. Are you even here, or am I talking to the wall? I'm listening to you. You're not listening at all. You're still thinking about your son. I offered you to cash in on the boy's return, but, but you got scared. What do you got now? You lost the boy, and you got accused of kidnapping him. You wanted to do it better, but you failed. But listen, they withdrew the complaint. Oh, congratulations, that's awesome. So then why are you so upset? <sighs> he said I can't see my son. And he meant it too. You could see him before, right? Listen, just demand that he pay you. He's a rich guy, he wouldn't care. It'll solve our problems. He already... Gave me some cash so I'd go away. Tell him that tiny amount isn't enough. Tell him that you wouldn't settle for it. Make him pay more. He'll skip town as soon as he does. Listen, what even makes you think that he's bound to pay me? How would I know? But you'll think of something. Threaten that you won't. Leave them alone until they pay, I don't know. Use your brain, am I the only one who does that? Roman? Hello, Vera. But what are you doing? I came to talk. And politely. Go ahead. I am listening. I want to see Kolya. Will you let me? No, you can't. You tried to take him once before, so I don't trust you. Vera, wait. I know I was wrong, but please forgive me. I just wanted to be with Kolya and get to know him better, and I swear that's it. Roman, go home. Get some sleep. Vera, I beg you, don't make me go away. I just can't believe that I lost you because I love you so much. <laughs> Dimitri, no, wait! Go on, get out of here, and stay out! I can explain everything. No, I need no explanation. But you misunderstood it no, all. No, please, just don't say anything now. Don't even. Well, just hear me out at why least. Why would I hear you out? Tell me, why right now? I've seen it with my own eyes, haven't I? Now I know where you've been spending your evenings. You know that I've been dealing with the launching of the fund. Yeah, that's exactly what you've been saying. I believed you like a fool, and you've been spending all that time with your ex, and now I'm 100% sure of it after all of this. Why are you doing this? Vera, oh, please, just don't play the victim, and don't you dare try to turn everything around for your benefit. I'm not playing anything, it's just... If you don't believe me, then... It will be better for me to leave. Where would you go? Where would you go? To him? Go then! Go, please, be my guest! I won't, don't worry. I'll find a place to stay for the night. doing here? We're going to stay here for the night, and then we'll find a place to live. Okay, but why couldn't we just stay at home? Kolya, it's difficult oh, to explain. Oh, good evening to you, Vera. Are you on duty? Oleg didn't tell me. Hi, good evening. Uh, no, we're here for a different reason. How's Andre? He's all right, thank you so much. The operation went well, no complications. He's recovering, so I came to see Oleg. But I'll contact you in a few days. All right, that is good news. Were you on vacation? You're back to work right away? No, but at home we have family problems. Is there something I can do to help? You have your own things to deal with. Mom and I left our house. Kolya. I'm sorry. Are you serious? Vera, 
I want you to come home with me. No, thanks. We don't want to bother you and... Nonsense! Don't say that. It's the least I can do for you. Well... Hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much. How are you? Please excuse me for calling so late. Thing is, I have a little problem. There's no one to watch Katya tomorrow. Could you come over here and help me? Good morning. Good morning, Vera. Sit down. How did you sleep? I slept well, thank you. Tea, coffee? Coffee would be great. Ksenia, thank you for helping us. No, not at all, Vera. It's nothing compared to what you did for me and Andre. I hope you know. Oh, it wasn't me. You should be thanking Dimitri and the doctors. Mm -hmm. Vera, you can't imagine how much strength your big help and unwavering support has given me. Vera, if it wasn't for you, You saved Andre's life, you know that? Before you, we had no hope at all. I'm happy to help. It's gonna be all right. It's all gone now. Okay. And I appreciate all your help. Of course, it's my pleasure. All right then. But if I'm frankly speaking, I'm feeling like I'm in your way. I'll look for a place. Vera, but why and what for, though? There's no need. You being here pleases me. I want you and Kolya to make yourself completely at home here. Well, thank you. Great. Good morning, Mom. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Andre. Well, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Thank you for asking, Vera. Good to hear. But you're still under doctor's supervision. Yes, of course he is. We're known as very disciplined patients. All right, let's have breakfast. Isn't Kolya awake? Not yet. He's asleep. Well, that's okay. Just let him sleep. Enjoy your breakfast. Thank you, I will. Well, what can I say, Dimitri? You could very well expect this from Vera. Anna, come on, please don't say that. Why not? Am I not accurate? She would have been a beggar without you. You gave her everything, and this is what she did. This is not about money. She left here with nothing. Besides, Vera works so she is able to provide for herself. Right. But how much money did she pump out of you for her little fund? Well, but that is... for sick kids, and this is a whole different thing. But that's only what she says. Who knows whether it's true, or if it's not. I would never believe that she would just mooch money for her own benefit, or... You'd better believe it, so that you won't be disappointed again. I always knew from the start that this woman was only interested in money. I'm telling you, I always knew. Hello, Mom! Hello. Well, how are you doing? I'm all right. Good to hear. Vera! Wait! Hold on, I need to talk to you. Uh, yes, Katya, I'm listening. Honey, take a little walk. Mm -hmm. So why did you and Kolya leave us? You and my dad had an argument? Uh, no, we didn't, but it was just a little misunderstanding. Then you talk to him. What's the problem, Vera? Uh, Katya, life is not so simple. You're not coming back? Not right now. It will be better. For now. Vera, no, don't go. You must come back, please. I really miss you so much. Now look at me. I miss you so much too, honey. But you need to understand. Your dad and I just need to live away for a bit. I have no one to do my homework with now. And dad always comes home late from work. Grandma explains it all unclearly. It's not interesting with her. Don't be rude to your grandma because she loves you. 
I'm not rude to her. I'm just bored with her. Well, I promise we'll be seeing each other more often. We have a deal. That's it. Smile now. Goodbye. Kolya, let's go. See ya. Did you have a fight, or who did that to you? I couldn't tell you. They worked you pretty well. Listen, man, if we don't hurry up and do this, they're gonna for sure destroy us. <sighs> yeah. And there are still people. Like Vera's husband, huh? <sighs> so why aren't we lucky? Dimitri's got under your skin as far as I could see. I'm so sick of him. He has it all and I have nothing. Well, we shall take care of this injustice. <sighs> what are you suggesting? Just think, just think about it. Who's next in line to get all the money? If anything happens to him, huh? Can you see what I'm getting at? To be honest, no. It's time to stop fussing around him. If he doesn't want to share, then we'll take everything. Well, I like the idea. How do we start? We will kill him. Then it'll be done. I've decided to knit Andre a sweater for the winter. Do you like knitting? I've been knitting for as long as I can remember. But then all these horrors with his health started. My husband left and I had no more time for my hobbies. Well, thank goodness you can knit again. Yeah, it's so great. Do you get rest with your schedule? I just can't wait for the fun to start working. I've registered it, but I... Still have a lot to do. I don't have to look for patients. Oleg Vasilyevich is trying to help. But there's always a lack of sponsors. Mm, what about your husband? Well, I don't know. We're still not talking after all. Waiting for him to make the first step? I'm afraid to hear his painful words. Vera, don't fall into despair. I'm sure everything will work out for you, really. Thank you, Ksenia. I hope so. Wait, are you serious? What's bothering you? Well, stealing is one thing, but killing is quite another. Well, just think about it. Just think about it. Do you want to get Vera back? You do. Do you need money? You do. Go ahead, then. Charm your rich widow, and we'll pay the debt. You'll shell out a bit to me. That's all I want, and that's it. After that, lead your happy life. That idea is nuts. You and I are not murderers. Oh, come on. What's wrong with it? We'll just get rid of one pain in the ass rich guy is all. Just think of what you'll have in the end as a result. On the other hand, no one will keep me from my son. That's it. That's it. You're starting to think in the right direction now. Yeah. <sighs> 
It is still a little creepy. I'm not suggesting we kill him in front of everyone. No way. We'll get rid of him carefully and very silently. We'll organize. We'll organize some kind of accident. No one will notice anything. Well, it sounds tempting and all, but I don't know. Come on, don't be a chicken and just say yes. All right, let's do it. That's right. Accepted unanimously. Hey, Katya. It's late now. Time to finish and you can study more tomorrow. What, did you hear me? Mm-hmm. I did. Yes? I wanted to ask you something. May I? Of course you can. I saw Vera today. She came to school to pick up Kolya. Yes? Go on. Why did she leave our house? What happened between her and my father? Mm, I don't know. What did she tell you? Nothing, but she said they needed to live separately. But how can we do that? We're a family. You're actually not family. Vera lied to your dad, and she's wrong. Do you understand? She doesn't deserve any forgiveness. Why is that? How can you ask that? No, Vera wouldn't do that. I don't Katya, believe it. Katya, stop it. You still don't know a lot about Vera. She doesn't care about you or your father. This is why she's not going to live in this house anymore. <gasps> Katya. <gasps> Katya, honey. Oh my God, Katya. Katya, my darling. Dimitri! Katya. Dimitri! Katya's feeling bad. Hello, Vera? It's me, but don't hang up. Vera, please, just listen to me. <sighs> Vera, I'm feeling very terrible. And I'm very scared. Oh, please don't make me do something beyond recall. I beg you. And no, Vera, I'm not drunk. I had a little to drink, but I'm not that drunk. Vera, let's run away somewhere. We can be together and disappear. Uh, hello? Uh, Vera? I just really wish we could have been together, Vera. I'll take her. Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Stay here and we'll take care of her. Yes. Yes, Katya. Good morning. Mm. You're here? I didn't think you'd want to be here with me as all. Mm. Why not? Why would you think that? You know how much I love you. There's something I want to ask you about. All right. It's not true that you deceived my dad, is it? <sighs> no. Did your dad tell you that? Mm-mm. Grandma did. Your grandma. <sighs> Hello, Grandma. Hello, my shining star. Good morning to you, Anna. How are you? We'll be going home very soon. But I don't want to go home. I'm going to bring you breakfast. No, I'm not hungry. Katya, you need to eat. Otherwise, you won't get healthy. So you'll have breakfast before your morning exam. Katya, don't make me sad, all right? But will you come to me again? Of course I will, just as soon as I'm free. Well, okay. My goodness, isn't your shift over yet? Uh, yeah. I stayed in the hospital to watch Katya. So did Vera spend the whole night with you? Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello. How's Katya? She's doing better. She hadn't had any attacks or complications recently. Well, Katya is susceptible to inner stress. That's all because you left the house, and she's very upset now. I couldn't stay there. When there's no mutual trust, there's no relationship either. Vera, what trust are you talking about? I saw it with Dimitri, my own don't eyes. Dimitri, don't start. We have to get Katya back on her feet and not squabble with each other. Uh, uh, 
Mm. No, I don't want it. Katya, stop being so capricious. You're not a little girl. I don't want to eat it. Dimitri. Katya, you really need to eat. I don't want to eat it. All right. She's still not eating? She isn't. Katya, you promised you would. Anna, let me try if you please. How am I supposed to believe you next time? I just don't want to eat that food. But you must eat it. Or else you will make me sad. <sighs> All right, then. That a girl. Here, take this napkin. Vera, come back to live with us, would you? Dad, ask Vera to come home. And Grandma. Katya, you know what I think? That you shouldn't interfere with the business of grown adults. Katya, now don't worry. Remember, I love you very much. You and I will be able to talk any time. Because I will never leave you. <sighs> Eat it all up, and we'll talk a bit later. Mm-hmm. Anna, wait a second. Yeah? Can I please ask you something? I'm listening. Regardless of how you feel, can you not talk to the child about it? She's a very sensitive girl and she responds Don't to even it. mention it. I understand. Well, thank you. This is about Katya. These dangerous asthma attacks really scare me. I understand. I'm worried about Katya too. But I've told you already that Katya should avoid stressful situations, and it will be all right. Well then? Well what? About that Dimitri? It's all simple. His schedule is very precise, and he always keeps to it. It's the same every day. Nothing could be better. Anyway, now's the perfect moment we've been waiting for. We need to use it. Are you sure? What's so perfect about it? Check it out. Look, he lives alone. Your ex and the boy have left. His daughter's in the hospital. It's the right time. <laughs> there could be no other chance like this one. You got it? Mm-hmm. So now, we need to get inside the house to prepare everything. You know, for the accident. As far as I can see, you're not exactly enthusiastic. Have you changed your mind? No. All right, that's good. Come. No, oh, Kirill, I'm so tired. Thank you, Sveta. You're welcome. I can see that, Dimitri, you haven't been looking like yourself. Katya's in the hospital again. I broke up with Vera. It's all screwed up. You broke up with Vera? But everyone envied you. Vera cheated on me. Oh, Dimitri, you know what? I don't believe it. I wake up every day, and I also can't believe it either. But it's a fact. It's what happened, you hear me? You know what I think? that you should meet with her. Have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with her. You know she wouldn't do that to you. I've been watching you for so many years. She loves you so much. Good afternoon. 
How are you? Oh, uh, mm, it's all the same, but no seizures at least. I've got some good news for you. The fund transferred the payment. Get ready <gasps> for the operation. Wait, are you serious? Vera Adrievna. Goodness, thank you very much. My darling son. <sighs> He's going to be fine. Get some rest. Oh, thank you. As soon as he switches on the TV, it'll explode. Mm -hmm. I still need more treatment. I can't believe they're releasing me early. Katya, aren't you happy that you're coming home? No, I'm not. I'm going to be alone at home, and I'm going to miss Vera. Vera's not going to just disappear. You'll be coming here for procedures and you're going to see her often. Vera didn't deceive anyone, and she's a caring person. I know, darling, all right. Just get in. Studying? Oh, you scared me. Hey, man. Have you been thinking? Listen, I wanted to ask you what happened, since you and your mother have no place to live. You used to live somewhere else, right? We used to live in peace with Daddy Dimitri. But then he and my mom had an awful fight, and... That sucks. Why did they fight? I don't even know why they fought anymore. They seem like they're adults, but they act worse than most kids. <sighs> you know, when I was ill, I was really scared, and then your mom helped me. <sighs> she was so nice. That sounds like her. And Daddy Dimitri's good, too. Maybe you can help them reconcile. But do you think they'll understand if I try to explain what they're doing? I don't really know. But you could try it. Well, you know what? I will try that. I'll go to Daddy Dimitri and I'll have a talk with him. Good idea. And I'll come with you. That's cool. But I'll talk to him on my own, all right? Dimitri, Katya's asleep. Good, let her sleep. I'll get going. It's getting late. You must be tired from spending the whole day here. Not really. It's fine. Frankly speaking, honey, Vera barely stepped away from her at the hospital. Well, I'm glad you're finally seeing something good in Vera. Well, all right. I'll go now. Anna, listen to me. You're very helpful.
Did you forget something, Anna? Kolya, are you alone? Did something happen? No, I'm doing fine. I just want to have a personal talk with you. Does your mom even know you're here? Should I call her? No, don't. Well, all right, tell me. What do you want to talk about? About you and my mom. Just stop torturing each other. Make peace already. Kolya. There's still some things you don't understand. For example, what? Aren't you two still in love with each other? Yes, I still love her, but after your father's return, it's been a little... But how is my dad a bad thing? He stopped coming over to see us because of you. That's not because of me. Everything is his fault. Everything is his fault? According to you, everyone else is guilty? I already know that he went to prison because of you. You're the one who hates him. He told me himself. Didn't he tell you anything else? Didn't he tell you why he went to prison? Or that Katya's mother died because of him? Didn't he tell you that? That, that can't be true. Dad's a good person, I know it. Apparently your mother thinks so too, since she left us for him. But mom, but mom didn't go to him. We live with a woman named Ksenia. Excuse me? Who is this Ksenia? She's not with your father. She's not. So you didn't know? You're not lying. No. Kolya, are you really sure? <sighs> Hello. Hello. Where is Kolya? I thought he was with you. He didn't tell me anything. I was sure he was still here. I walked him to his father's. To Roman? No, Daddy Dimitri. That's what he said. Did he tell you why? He did. He wants you to make up. I see. <sighs> Hello, it's me. How are you? Is Kolya there? Yes, Vera. Kolya is here. Yeah, I'll bring him over to you right now. Hold on a minute, though. Kolya, why is the door open? I... I have no idea. Katya! Please answer me! Uh, Vera, I think Katya's missing. I'll call you back later, okay? And her jacket's missing. Yes, You but... wait here. Katya! Dad, here's her phone right here. Keep her phone. Now, Kolya, you stay right here in case she comes back home. All right. I'll go and look for her. If something happens, you call me, all right? Yes, all right. Okay. <sighs> now lock the door. Uh-huh. Did something happen? No. Katya, Dimitri's daughter, ran off somewhere. Where could she have gone, though? It'll be dark soon. I don't know, but we should call the parents of her classmates. Okay. You can't just calm down. We could have heard everything from the news. So then why bother and make ourselves exposed? I just really want to make sure with my own eyes. Hey, look, there's his car. What the hell? That is... Stop! That is... Stay no, here! No, 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 man, no, that's we'll Kolya. Busted. But that... Stay get off here, me! Man. That's my son! Damn it, stay here! Kolya! Uh, Kolya! Now, where are you? Hello. 
Officer, my young child is missing. She's a girl. No, I can't come now because I'm looking for her, okay? What happened? Doctor, he's unconscious, but he's breathing. Please help him, I'm begging you. Help my son, oh my god, hang in there. Hang in there, yeah, yeah. He's my I'm son, sorry, Doctor, he's sir, my son. But you are getting in the way. I still can't get through to Kolya, and I'm feeling uneasy. Oh, I wouldn't worry. He's a Dimitri, safe and sound. I'm sure he's fine. No, I have a bad feeling, and he wouldn't be sleeping. He might be sleeping because he's so tired. No, Ksenia, that's just not like him. He's always worried about her. I guess you could be right. All right, then. I think I should go to them. I don't like waiting here. If it makes you worry less, you should go to them. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank God I found you. So what happened, honey? Is it actually true that Vera left you for the man who killed my own mother? No, my love. Katya, of course that's not true. Okay, but I overheard you say that to Kolya earlier, though. You... you just misunderstood me, is all. You know, sometimes adults can also make mistakes as well, you know? As for Vera, she, she didn't leave us. It was me who offended her, my dear. Really? Mm-hmm. Do you want me to call her? And we can ask her to come home? Promise? <laughs> yes, I promise. Yeah? Friends? Mm-hmm. And now let's go home. Kolya's waiting for us. You like that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Give me your hand. <laughs> let's go home. Been here. Oh, Vera, thank God everyone's alive after that. They barely managed to put out the fire. My son was here. Don't you worry. They took your son in an ambulance, so don't worry. He's alive. He'll be fine. Yes, Anna, thank you. Thank you very much for taking care of Katya and letting her stay with you for a while. I'll call you if there's any news. Oleg! Oleg! How's my son? How is Kolya? Hey, he's in intensive care. I'm not going to give you too much hope, though. Severe carbon monoxide poisoning, but there's good news. Kolov is treating him. He is a great specialist. I've known him for a long time. Oh, my God. If he doesn't make it, I'll... Shut, 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 shut. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Come with me.
How's Kolya? His condition is still critical. Now wait, just a second. How do you know he's here? Because everything is my fault. What are you saying? I thought there wouldn't be anyone inside. <laughs> what? What? But my son was there. <laughs> what are you talking about? I wanted to kill you. You get it? But instead of you, I might have killed my son, Kolya. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I'm calling the police. I hope you're not going to be defending him now. I wish they'd lock you up so quickly that no one else will suffer. I just hope that Kolya's alright and isn't hurting. Any news? It's too early to tell and he's still unconscious. His condition's critical, but he's still stable. You can come in and see him. He's unconscious and maybe he won't hear you, but... Go on. <laughs> Hello, officer. Dimitri! Dimitri. Well, I took Katya to school. So did you figure out what happened, darling? It was arson or something like that. Oh, my goodness. Are you telling me that it was all a setup? Or did someone try to kill you? They did, but they failed miserably. This is Roman's doing. He wanted to kill me, and his own son was hurt as a result. Hmm, yes. Expect the worst from that man. He's already been arrested, so at least that's a good thing. What about Kolya? Is it something serious? The doctors are doing everything possible. We can only wait now. Oh, heavens. My darling, I don't know if you can hear me. But you have to recover. You know what? When you get better, we are going to go on a lovely trip. Or we'll think of something else that's interesting. But you must get well, all right? Keep being strong. I know you can. Kolya? <laughs> Kolya, can you hear me? Kolya. Where am I? You're in the hospital. Honey, there was a fire. But it doesn't matter now because you're safe and sound. How is Katya? Katya's all right. You must get well, since she is waiting for you. Will my dad come for me? No, he... Uh, he can't come here. He can't come. Uh, Vera! Vera, how's Kolya? Kolya has regained consciousness at last. I knew he'd be all right. I knew it. Oh, my. Thank goodness. Oh, hello there, Anna. Yes, hello, Vera. So right now I have to see Oleg, and then I'll get back to Kolya. Yeah. I'd like you to come with me. Okay, then. The doctors are going to examine him, and sure, he'll be glad to see you. <sighs> Excuse me, but I have to go. <sighs> well. Oh, thank God. Everything worked out okay. Ah, here you are. So then, you sold me out. Oh man, screw you. Do you know what happens to people like you? I nearly killed my son because of you, so sit down! <sighs> sit down. Sit down. Have some tea. 
I... I don't want to. Please don't refuse. Look at how thin you are. Eat the pastries. I've baked them for you, by the way. You are a real treasure. Ah, oh, come on. All right. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Oleg is inviting me to the theater. Are you together again? And his family? <gasps> no, but it's different. Oleg is divorced now. And he's asking me to marry him. Oh, dear God. Mm-hmm. Well, finally. Right. <laughs> By the way, do you remember that abandoned boy? Yes, of course I do. Oleg and I decided to adopt him. Now we're going to have a real family together. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mom. Hmm. I'm feeling better. Yes, good to hear. That means we'll go home soon. Home to Daddy Dimitri? Well, not exactly. <gasps> Kolya! Katya! <laughs> Daddy Dimitri! I'm so happy that you're here. <gasps> Hello. How are you, huh? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> How I've are been you? I'm so worried about you. I'm worried for you. I hope you get well soon. I really miss you so much. I do too. <laughs> We're waiting for you both. We want you home. Please forgive me. I've been acting like such a fool. If you forgive me too. <laughs> Katya, there are the windows of Kolya's ward. Ah, then let's call up to him. Let's do it. Hey, congrats on your recovery! Hooray! 